All right, Peach. All right, Peach, keep your pants on. All right. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for my cold cut ingredients list? You guys ready for it? I, I need to hear you guys promise that you won't judge. Not that there's anything wrong with my sandwich. It's, it's a pretty basic sandwich that I get. But everyone always has a problem with something, right? So I need your- I need you guys to swear That if I don't put an ingredient on my sandwich that you like <laughs> This setup is making me hate your sandwich, Mitch Alright, I like lettuce Tomatoes, pickles, occasionally, which is rare, occasionally, which is rare, I would like green peppers and red onions, but not often. Barely ever put that on, so don't worry about it. Okay, so lettuce, tomato, pickle, cucumber, gotta have cucumber. Cucumber is one of the most refreshing vegetables there is. Cucumbers are so good. Okay, then I got my meats on it. Then I get mustard. Love mustard. Mustard's fantastic. Then I get mayo. That's right. I get mayo. Okay. No salt and pepper. Don't need it, guys. Why? Do you don't need salt and pepper. It's just bad for you. Salt is barely ever good for you. The sandwich has so much flavor. Without salt and pepper, I don't get salt and pepper. When I lived in Canada, and I was at Canada Subways, I used to get sub sauce. I don't know what's in the sub sauce here. I don't know if it's the same, so I don't get sub sauce. Pepper's good, but they always have the same shaker. It's like a salt and pepper shaker. At least some places I've been to, so I can't trust it when I'm not there, right? Like if Kaylee goes to Subway for dinner and gets us sandwiches, I don't know if she's gonna know, and I don't know if they use the same shaker. Sometimes they got the same shit going on. So I don't trust. So I don't trust the salt, the double. If they had separate, I'd ask for pepper, but they don't. But not too much pepper. You can never trust. See, people who work at Subway, they're not very good at garnishing. They're not good at spicing. They have no idea how much salt and pepper to put on the sandwich. They just turn the thing upside down and start shaking. Next thing you know, my blood my blood pressure and all that shit's all fucked up because I'm too much salt. I've got too much salt. Then your doctor's saying you should add a little bit of vinegar into your diet. Maybe try and thin some of that shit out. And that doesn't work either. I'm telling you guys. Stay away from salt, man. Is it the salt or the Red Bull? I drink one Red Bull a day. What do you mean, so yeah, it's Red Bull? I got it checked out. One Red Bull a day doesn't mean jack shit to your body. One Red Bull a day, one tiny can of Red Bull. Really not harmful to you at all. <laughs> one Red Bull a day will murder my whole family twice. No way. Neither is this salt now and then. I agree. 
My problem with salt on my sandwiches is not that I, I'm gonna order so many sandwiches from Subway that I'm gonna fucking die of salt overload. The reason I don't get salt from Subway is because I don't know how much they're gonna put on it and ruin it. One time I got a meatball sub and the sauce in the meatball sub, the marinara sauce, was so salty. Blech. Can you guys taste, like, in your cheeks, times when you've had too much salt? Eh. 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 You know the feeling. You guys know the feeling of too much salt on, like, a, you know, whatever. Mm. Has that weird, stingy, sour-like kind of reaction. It's not sour, obviously. But the way your cheeks react and your body, it's just... And you feel like you're in pain after, too. Too much salt and smashed potatoes. Is that what you call mashed potatoes? Smashed potatoes? There's a slight difference between mashed and smashed and whipped, obviously. Absolutely no good world ones today. You're French, you never use smashed or mashed? What do you call mashed potatoes then? <laughs> Potato play? That's a lie. Everyone knows that the French call mashed potatoes poutines. And the French calls baked potatoes poutines. And the French call fried potatoes poutines. See where I'm going with this? Potatoes. Mash them, boil them, stick them in the stew. We do not, I know. I love poutines. I miss my Canadian poutines. So tasty, so delicate. Do you guys see the South Park episode where Cartman mixed... Cartman mixed, um... McDonald's french fries with Kentucky Fried Chicken gravy? Never tried it before. Yeah, I like this controller, it's not bad. Somebody trying to claim their victories? Yeah, he had a hot tub full of gravy in that episode. That's where they go into like the business of the crack addicted babies. They like play crack basketball or something. So fucked up. That's, excuse me, what? Well, that's South Park for you. Cartman's trying to recruit unborn babies. Before they're born from crack addicted moms. So fucked up, man. So fucked up. South Park season 23 is airing today. Nice.
Would I say I'm skilled at this game? I'm pretty skilled at it, yep. Yo, thank you for elusive one. Thank you for the good luck. Bring! Bring! I think Red Bull gave me wings. What the hell is poutine? Poutine is uh, french fries with gravy and cheese curds. On a plate. It's very good. Any, I don't know anyone who's had it who's like, no. I'm sure there's some people, obviously, but. It's very good. The poutine is very important. That's right. it. I had it. very impressed with my subway sandwich today but i'm also not impressed that kaylee had to tell them to go easy on all the things to turn it into a legitimate sandwich it's embarrassing to the company it really is like when you get lettuce on your sandwiches at subway why why is it handfuls of shredded lettuce on your sandwich? Why? Like, they don't set it up so that they can even close the sandwich sometimes. Like, it's embarrassing. It's not good. It's messy, it's ugly, and it... It's like taste sided. Taste sided is where, like, you know, it's one sided with the taste. It's horrible. This is my modified sandwich. Look at how clean it is. Nice and clean. Modified sandwich. That was that was us telling them what to do. Finally got a good sandwich. Finally. Nice and clean. The green screen makes it look silly. You know, you get all this lettuce, and then they just go to town on the mustard and mayo and shit. They just squeeze the shit out of the bottle. It's like, holy fuck, man. Like, lettuce isn't even that good from Subway. It's like, it's not... It's like their main product that they just, like, waste. Like, it's... Like, it's what makes the sandwich tick. Every sandwich at Subway would be perfectly fine without lettuce on it. Every single sandwich. Wholeheartedly, yes. It's bare... Like, lettuce is good. I love lettuce, man. Lettuce has this crunch and this refreshing... Like, I don't want to say splash of flavor, but lettuce holds holds water in that whenever you bite into it, it kind of like splashes sometimes with really good washed lettuce. That's fantastic. But Subway does not have lettuce like that, I can tell you. I can tell you right now, their lettuce is shipped in a box, in a bag, from a company. That's their lettuce. They might take it out, they might rinse it. I hope they rinse it when they take it out and stuff. But... 
I feel like Subway could make just as much money without lettuce. Well, I don't know. There's people out there where if you took away lettuce, they'd just be mad because it's gone. They don't care, but if the option's gone, they'll get pissed. It's like closing a door on a cat, you know? If you didn't close the door, the cat wouldn't leave, but now that you close the door, the cat wants out. It's the same thing with Americans and, I guess, lettuce. You take their lettuce away, they're fucking pissed, man. You bring the lettuce back, and then everyone complains that there's too much lettuce on their sandwiches. Like me. <laughs> My lettuce. I like lettuce. As a cat owner, you felt that analogy, right? Again, with a cat. They want in the room, you let them in the room. You close the door, they want out because the door is closed. Then once they're out, you close the door because you're like, fine, you're not coming in. And then they sit and whine at the door. Cats are weird, man. They want all pathways open. But they can handle your front door and back door in your home. That I don't understand. My cat doesn't do anything at the front door, even though it's closed. Doesn't do anything to the garage door, even though it's closed. Like, the door to the garage, not the actual garage door. You know, it doesn't do anything. What I love about cats and dogs... Is they distinct- they- they understand, like, the television. I love that. I find that so intriguing. That they understand it. I love it. So much. You know? It's just a wall, Mitch. It's just a wall. All right, on dog sitting. Well, that's cool. Then that means you're home for a little bit. Yeah, there's three different cut time. There's three different. I feel like there's. Well, there's probably multiple different types, but it's almost like you can distinguish cats' consciousness through mirrors. You got the one cat who thinks it's another cat. So you can kind of tell where where your cat's mentality sits. And then you have the one cat who recognizes itself and like licks and looks at itself in the mirror. And then you have the other cats that don't care. They don't do anything. They look in the mirror and they carry on. Yeah, even Sim... They got more important things than to worry about the reflection of the mirror. Cats who recognize themselves in the mirror are woke as fuck. Cats who think it's another cat, dumb as fuck. And then cats who don't care about the mirror, those are like the... You know... Adventurers and explorers. This mirror is not enough to make a good judgment call. Is it me, or is it another cat? I don't know yet. They're, those cats are explorers. <laughs> what a stupid thing I'm talking about right now. You're so dumb. <laughs> Is there any cat owners in chat right now who have cats that know how to trick you?
Like a cat that realizes every time they like do something, they know they're getting a treat, so they do it to... Some cats play the like cute card. They know if they like roll around and meow and play cute, like you'll you'll pick them up and pet them. Your cat's not smart enough. One of yours is dumb as fuck. Yeah, but those are the cutest because they just lay there and they're just so cute. I don't have aggressive cats, which I like. I have cats that know how to play. You see this difference? I rough the shit out of my cats so much. Like, I rough them up hardcore. Hardcore. And they rough up each other. But I haven't been scratched my, by, by my cat in so long. Right? So, like, I don't have aggressive cats. My cats don't want to scratch me, they don't want to bite me, and they don't. Eve... Eve will scratch you if you pick her up, but not because she's scratching you. She's trying to get down. She doesn't like to be picked up. So she just claws out, tries to get it the hell out of there, like put me down. So that's not her fault. That's just normal. I don't like to be picked up, so she just tries to get down. She doesn't try to attack, but she just wants down, that's all. I love cats, because they're independent, and I like that. They don't... I mean, aside from me feeding them, realistically, they don't need me at all. I mean, hold on a sec. Now that they've lived in my home for more than two years, they need me. Windows update, shit. Cats get lonely. Um, it's, it's... I've learned a lot about cats just out of interest and, you know, cats have that emotional way about them. They just show it in a way that us as humans don't notice it at times. Like, it's so obvious when your dog is needy, right? And it's so obvious when your cat is needy. But it's not obvious when you come home from a trip and your cat doesn't change a shade and your dog's fucking spazzing all over the place, drooling, and sometimes they pee because they're so freaking excited. Like, they can't even contain themselves that you're home. It's fucked. Cats look at you and then turn around and go back to whatever they were doing, right? But that doesn't mean cats don't share the same feeling. They do, just in weird different ways. <laughs> I thought that- I thought that more too, Gino, but it's not true. I mean, maybe to some degree, maybe my experience is, you know. Maybe my experience is less casual, but Sim, Sim is not assholey. Yo, these Hammer Brothers, you gotta be pogging me. Male cats, I find, if they're sniffed, they're probably nicer. I don't know though, man. I feel like it's all about how you raise your cats. I think one of the biggest things when you have a kitten is like you constantly like have to form some form of dominance. You know? Like Sims 
Sim and Eve aren't afraid of me, but they're afraid of me. Does that make sense? They're not afraid of me at all. Like, they know I'd never hurt them. But, they're, like, they're afraid if I chase them. They will run. They are scared, right? Kind of thing. Not in the playing kind of chase. Like, if I was mad at them, they'd know. It's, it's a weird thing. I think when an animal knows that you are the dominant one, but life is so good, I think that's when you generate an animal personality that just... It brings out the most in the animal, I think. There's nothing worse than a scary dominant, you know what I mean? Scary alpha kind of deal, right? A scary alpha is like... Every, like you're just like a, a pawn. Like Santa. Uh, this might be a gold split. This is a really good world four. Really good. Am I making sense, guys? I don't know a lot about this. I'm just opening my mind to you guys. I don't... I'm not saying what I'm saying is true or right. This is just how I think about it. It's just how I think about this stuff. Time for Resident Sleeper. I am probably going to save a lot of time here. I gotta show Haxer this World 4. He's gonna dump. What was so good about this world? Well, the very fact that I sat in the middle position and all the Hammer Brothers came to me with movements of one. Uh, I haven't made a mistake, and I got P-Speed in 4-5. Yo, Cisco Kid, what's it? So it's pretty nutty right now. Pretty nutty. I do not live in LA, no. I live in Utah. I just learned that to be a Mormon within the church... So, I have my thoughts and opinions of the Mormon religion. But I just learned today... Kaylee told me, because she's from Utah... I just learned that to be a Mormon and to be accepted in the church, you actually have to pay a fee. Like, you're obligated. I didn't know that. <laughs> South Park, dum 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 dum. What the fuck? Why did he do that? Man, I just lost all my time, guys. Why did he do that, man? Why did he jump, dude? I I must have done something weird. I missed my chance on my gold right there. Still a really solid split, though. I was showering today and Kaylee was at the counter in the bathroom and we we like we just do that we talk like if someone's showering one will come and hang out in the bathroom and we'll talk and we I don't know I don't know what I don't know where it came from when I was a little kid and I used to go to church they'd pass around the uh, collection plate and that's the world that I grew up in so that's the world that I'm familiar with most it seemed pretty standard you don't have to give any money or you give money whatever whether you give money or not, like, they'll accept you into the church. It's just... I'm not saying what I prefer or what I believe in. I'm just saying that's the life that I grew up in. It doesn't matter to me. Everyone does their own thing. But when she said that you had to pay, like, monthly fees or 10% of your income or something like that, the first thing I thought was, then, in that religion, that means money first, God second. Which is... I find very weird about that in a religion. I find that very strange. That's all. Didn't spend any more time thinking about it after that. Well, aside from the 10% of your income thing. That's a tall order to ask. Well, they won't accept you into the church if you don't pay your things, right? So that's why I was like, that seems strange.
Uh, slide jumping is faster than P-Speed, but to maintain that speed from the slide, you have to frame perfect jump. Because the resistance from the ground will slow you down, and Mario will try and build P-Speed. Well, no, I don't want to go into great detail about religion or anything. Those are the most boring conversations we could have on a live stream. I don't want to talk about that crap. I'm just telling you guys, you know, I'm sharing my life with you guys. That's all. Just take it for what it is and we can move on, right? That's all. That's all it is. I know, I don't know why you move left. <laughs> My religion's in another castle. Dude, stop sweating. Rare pirate, you're you're sweating so hard, man. Like, shut the hell up, dude. Honestly, quit sweating, dude. You're you're in a Twitch chat with someone playing Mario. Fucking wipe that sweat off and take it easy. Ah, <laughs> uh, use the star there so I can go a little bit faster, so I don't have to worry about the death waffles. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-one coins after next level. Not too bad, not too bad. Doesn't matter. He's gonna move right for me. Right, 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 right. That's good enough. Ah! Oh, SD, you're just opening the flames more. No, we're not doing Jesus clip. We're not doing Jesus clip. <laughs> you guys are assholes. If this hammer brother does a movement of four, I'll do Jesus clip. But look at my run, guys. How dare you request this of me? Look at this. <laughs> Don't do that gambling shit to me, guys. Don't. If I do Jesus clip, I'll be more far, like, I'll be, like, further ahead. Get that shit out of my brain, man. Don't poison me. Should I go for it? Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. No, because if I don't go for it, I'm going to feel like an- Or no, if I go for it and die, I'm going to feel like an asshole. I'm not going for it. There's no way I'm going for it. Nope. I'm sorry, guys. I already told you, I'm not going for it. Not a chance. Get out of my sack! Run sucks, no J clip, Mitch, pussy, pussy.
So that's extremely bad. That's extremely bad. Why didn't my duck input register? That fucking is so annoying. It's okay, guys. It's okay. It's really not that bad. It's not 15 seconds lost. That's at the beginning of World 5. No, I don't lose 15 seconds. I've already fought all the boom booms and stuff, so I don't lose 15 seconds. Gamer police here. Gamer police. Uh. You're gonna have to slow down that speed. Yo, Anonymous with the five gift sub. I'm just gonna assume that it was from the pirate guy, so thank you, pirate, for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. You're very kind, and you've been very kind to me and my chat. So thank you very much, Rare Pirate. Very kind of you. But still, you should shower. You need to get rid of some of that sweat, dude. I don't know what pattern I get here, so I think I'm just gonna double shot stomp. I think that's the best case scenario. Last time I took advice from someone Zikabi, I got fucked. Haxer and Giga both fucked me with boss patterns. But, yeah, pretty much. So it's like the same pattern, I just have to shoot. Or, like, I can react faster or something. I'm, I'm gonna be scared. But thank you, thank you. I would rather trust you guys than someone else, you know? Oh my god, I'm missing all of my A-presses. I'm missing all of my A-presses. I suck. Guys, I could have had off-screen wand grabs so many times today, but I'm missing my wall jumps because I'm I'm a good for nothing, no good wall jumping bitch. Yeah, that's right. That's why I decided to take. I'm a good for nothing wall jumping scrib. But get back in line, you dirty wall jumping scrib. But, mister. Do I have a least favorite world? I'm not a huge fan of World 5. You guys think it's a run, but so far I've gotten only movements of two in this world. They're warming up, man. They're, they, those Hammer Brothers are gearing up for a fat storm. I reckon after after this level or the next level, I'm going to get Hammer Brother movements up the butt. Just watch. I know I've played this game for so long that I know they're gearing up for something. They're just pr they're perfectly moving in the perfect positions. Like, perfect. Every, like, the perfect storm, the perfect cast. I don't care what reference you want to use. 
They're gonna fuck me. They've behaved too well in the past three worlds. That there's no way that they're gonna be nice this world. They've already started to be mean with my movements of twos. Just wait. Back up that ass. Back it up. Yeah. They're gonna fuck me, man. I'm telling you right now. They got nothing better to do with their life right now. That means, if, if the Hammer Brothers work in this world, that means the Hammer Brothers cooperated all run. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's see that happen. Here we go. All right. Boy, do I look stupid. Make it still! Ah, oh, this was so perfect. Oh man, I did that so well with the pea keep. That was so good, man. That was so beautiful. Did I get punished? Nope. All right, here we go. Here it is, guys. Right after this level, fucked right in the butt. Yo, E. Foley with the tier 3 for 3 months. Thank you so much. You also did tier 1 for 3 months as well. I missed that. No, oh, I knew it because I turned back. Ah, I knew it, dude. That's okay. Oh, fuck. Might as well wait for him to come down. I did that extra turn back. It's okay, man. I knew World Six was gonna was gonna fail. It's nothing but a fail. Hammer Brother movement wasn't that good. No, it could have been much better, but it wasn't horrible either. It was a pretty quick death. Primary example of that's probably one of the best places to die, I guess. Right? If you think about it. Oh my god. You gotta be fucking kidding me. All this stupid shit. All this dumb stuff that's going on right now. Wall rubs and fucking... God damn it, dude. Well, the good thing about my mistakes right now isn't within the world six levels. You know what I mean? I'm not messing up P-speeds. You know what I mean? I'm messing up these weird little things that naturally wouldn't occur. Like, the fact that I kept my P-speed in the second room in the fortress, like, who does that? I was very unprepared. So that mistake was... it made sense. The death on the Hammer Brother made sense, because the Hammer Brother threw a hammer at a time that makes killing him confusing. Right? Like, I was like, oh, I can't go for him now because the hammer's being thrown in such a weird time, I have to wait. But I waited too long, you see. So, kind of, kind of mucked me up a bit there. And by that, it put me back into the standardized 4350X 6-7-A press. So this run has gone from pretty, pretty okay, like this pretty good run, to um, I'm gonna have to s scrape for survival. Like that, you see? I'm gonna have to scrape for survival. Uh, I'm gonna have to scrounge. We're getting off screen one grab today. Sick and tired. Normally, it's the wall jumps that I'm good at. I'm really good at wall jumps. But looking green, I already died. 
Punishment for you not being here earlier. Yeah, I already died in this world. So all that green is gone. Not that I mean, 3.4 seconds is still pretty good. Not like my six second time save in World 3 yesterday. That was dumb. What's even worse about my World 4 split is that the boss didn't even give me... I didn't even fire kill the boss. I didn't get a chance because he did a random jump at the start. That's like if you're on like a an awkward frame. It's very rare that that happens. I might have missed an A press by like two frames and it changed his pattern. A very precise pattern. Nice catch on my part. I mean, luckily I don't really have much of a choice because as soon as you enter, he just jumps. And right there, you're like, nope, no fire kill. And you have a high chance of losing your fire flower too. The boss will jump right up into your butt. Got rid of a little bit of lag there. Yeah, you can't skip any levels because it's 100%. This run's not too bad. I'm going to be plus like six going into world seven, I think. Maybe plus six or seven. So I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose over 10 seconds in this world. Come on, man. That was it. Th Come on, man. That was it. That was it, but I got bad RNG. I could have just saved eight seconds just now. I could have saved eight seconds in this level. But this level was like, nope. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Rewind. I got edge guarded. Yeah. Damn, I know, dude. I know. Uh, 7 1 was first try, 7 7 was second try. It's the standard. Nothing impressive. I beat Karu's record by um, 3 seconds. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, close to five seconds. Sorry, my bad. I did the math wrong. Why don't you always go for that eight seconds? Because it's a clip. It's the same as the seven, seven clip. Right? If I mess it up and land in the spikes, I don't have fire flower to fire kill this boss. Then I have to use an extra star for seven, two. It's never a good idea. I only went for it there because I already died in the world. And it would snap. It would snap the run back into reality. Ah, uh, I was close. Point se uh, plus seven, not plus six. How far is this category from requiring at least one trick that... Um, well, it's already been like that for about uh, two years now. It's been... It's already been... That's seven, seven. It's already been like that for a while. You need 7-7 seven, seven to get the world record. And if you don't need it, then you have to do things that are like even harder almost. Wow, manipulation works so well. I'm so glad that it's an actual thing. It's provided no alternative statistics yet. Sometimes you don't get the clip. Sometimes you do get the clip. The exact same statistics as before. Thank you. 
Third try is not so bad, though. Get in there. Jesus clip would have made the difference. Jesus clip would have been a bad idea. That, I can tell you with certainty. I probably would have died with Jesus clip. Or maybe survived, you never know. Don't get sucked into the void, guys. Don't get, don't buy it. Dude, I've been 77 and seven for so long. So many coin ships, guys. I love running down those stairs. It's so much fun. Door three with Jesus clip and three off-screen wand grabs. Dude, that's sub 110 just with those. That's how fucked up the tricks are in this game. If I got three off-screen wand grabs, door three, and Jesus clip, I wouldn't need to do 7-7. Seven, seven. There'd be no reason. But I'd still lose a lot of time, right? It wouldn't be... It wouldn't be worth the trade-off, you know? It wouldn't be worth the trade-off. I mean, if I get all those things, why would I not do 7-7? Seven, seven? Right? If I got three off-screen wand grabs, door three, Jesus clip, 7-7, seven, seven, and 7-1 seven, first try... That run... How would you beat it? <laughs> I mean, well, the weird thing about all those statistics that I just said, I didn't mention the Hammer Brothers or 7-9, right? There's so much in this game. Endless. Endless. Like, what if you get, what if you get 7-1 first try, 7-7 seven, seven first try, three off-screen wand grabs, but you get a marathon in World 4 and a marathon in World 6 that costs you 15 seconds? You know how much that would suck? It'd be the worst. What a waste. What an absolute waste. Yep, lag it up, yassle. Lag it up. I save one frame for every sea creature in chat. That's right. Sea creatures, sea creatures, creatures, sea creatures. The sea creatures really suck ass. It worked! It worked! I'm glad we practiced, right? Aren't you guys glad we practiced? My sea creatures see. Sea creatures are in the sea. Sea. Guys, let's give a shout out to all the scrubs who come into my channel because of my view count thinking I'm on good pace. They don't even know how far behind I am. They don't get it, scrubs. That's what you get for treating me like a number. New strategy paid off. I love my scrubs, though. What was the famous pop artist that had that song, Scrubs? You guys remember? Of course you do. Yo, that shit was TLC, that's right. What did TLC stand for?
<laughs> the learning channel. Okay, a lot of you don't know. I'm seeing a lot of bullshit answers. I'm with you guys. I don't know what it stood for. I have no clue. There you go. T-Boy's left eye and child. That's right. Chili? I can't see. I can't see. I don't know how many eyes are there. L's and I's just look the same. I can't read it. There's too many I's and L's beside each other. I can't distinguish. Chat is too far away. Chili? Third eyed chili? What about Chully? Chully sounds like the name of a fat kid in a show that's the comedic relief. There's Chully again acting up. You guys like that pog clip I just did? Chill, bro. Is there Z in that? That's right. was that pipe? <laughs> you guys don't like my pipes, huh? Wait, you don't like my pipes? I remember I told you guys yesterday the story about that old guy. I live in a cul-de-sac, right? And this old guy sits on the porch and he's in the dead center of the cul-de-sac. When you come in, that's the house you're facing. He just sits in his rocking chair. And he's got a gun. That's my neighbor. He doesn't like people not from the cul-de-sac, coming in the cul-de-sac. He doesn't like it. He doesn't enjoy it. So he sits there protecting everyone with his gun. He's just an old guy, just sitting there with his gun. He's got his lemonade. His wife brings him. You think it's a joke? I can I can post it in my Discord. Hazardo. Why would I joke about that? Dude, Hazardo, you've said nothing funny in your entire life. So, how do you like that? I don't live in Canada. <laughs> what's, okay, what's even funnier, what's even more funny is that you guys are like, LULing because of guns in Canada, but I live in Utah, which is like an even bigger LOL. Go ahead, spam it, the LOLs. Do it. Guns in Canada. <laughs> Acid bags. What the f- 
actual fuck, man! I did that in practice and that fucking pissed me off. Make sure I hit that split. That's right! I decided to make sure you guys could hear the split. <laughs> the lighter, the lighter that I light my candle with, like, popped up, fucking shook, and came back down. My sandwich is open now, it's just like... <laughs> I get my fire flower back on the tank, so it's okay. <laughs> so this is what World 8 looks like, in case you guys were wondering. Don't forget to hit the split. God, man, I did that so many times in practice where I, where I ran too close to the boss. There's an eighth world in this. I thought the run was over in World 7. Dude, ha Hazardo is that lame guy who has, like, the actual balls to boo someone at, like, a comedy club. Which is, like so disrespectful not that i'm comparing myself to like comedy clubs or anything but like when something's going on to like sit there and like argue or like get upset about something there's like no point hey man so it's, it's okay hazardo i do the same thing we call it testing the waters now, you didn't put any LOLs, you didn't put any Kappas, and yet you've become sad. You know, why didn't you make it more aware, right? Why didn't you make it more aware that you were kidding? Why did you just say what you wanted, and then when it didn't result the way you wanted, then you say you're kidding? Man, how am I supposed to know if you're kidding if you don't say anything? If somebody comes in my chat and all they say is, fuck you, Mitch, like, what, what do you want me to take from that? It's the same thing. You gotta let me know if you're kidding or not. Right? This is like preschool for people, anyone, for anyone living in 2010 and up. This is like preschool stuff we're talking about here. Oh, that power up is so saucy. That's such a saucy power up. Yo, Forest Kitty, thank you. Whee! Love you, not kidding. Please, touch my dinky dink. <laughs> I like you, Kappa. Ew, stinky dink? Don't even say that. Bort you, Mitch. Come along, Bort. My son is also named Bort. I'm just giving you a hard time, Hazardo. Don't feel bad. You've been on my channel for a long time. Don't feel bad. Come on, man. You know me. You know what I'm about. Don't say what you want and feel guilty after. That's not the way my channel works. Yo, Matic, have you seen the Sega Mini? It's so fucking cute, dude. I have it right here with me. I haven't tried it yet, no. <laughs> I thought hands were just mate belief. Everyone's been talking about these hand things, didn't know they existed. Oh. I'll try for peace speed, I'll probably die here. I don't know my jumps, but I got it. Awesome. We broke a barrier, guys. We broke a barrier. We broke a very healthy barrier. You have to do the hands in 100%.
Look, Ma, no hands. No, I only got one no hand. So I lost like two seconds. See, a lot of people don't know that with the hand levels, you can actually click A. Like when you get no hands, like say you, cr say you scroll over the hand level and you don't get pulled in, you're just sitting there. You can press A and enter the level. Now that is faster than getting pulled in by the hand, right? I mean, it's pretty common to see, makes sense. Pick my bickety box pork, pick my pork and pork. Gimme, gimme, gimme! that message. <laughs> Believe it or not, aside from the popular streamers without Mario Maker, People aren't really enjoying Mario Maker that much. People were expecting that there was going to be this long, giant period in Mario Maker 2 that was like Mario Maker 1, but it wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. Mario Maker 1 died, or Mario Maker 2 died down so much more than we all anticipated. It's like Mario Maker 1, but shittier. It's still good. Mario Maker's still good, but I mean, like versus mode, that's fun. I think that's the greatest thing right now. Versus mode is like the greatest thing in Mario Maker 2. But like, everyone's already done so much impressive shit in Mario Maker 1. That like, it's not, you know, I don't know. Mario Maker 2 just didn't get that vibe that everyone was expecting. It was big, don't get me wrong, obviously. It was new and exciting, different game modes, but... It's the same as Mario Maker 1, but different physics, so it's, like, kind of worse. Everyone loved the way the physics were in Mario Maker 1. They turned out to be actually pretty good. And then it's all changed, and Mario Maker 2's tiles, and the way it's run. Ugh. That's why I said what I said at the beginning. Our already popular streamers can keep Mario Maker 2 alive. Graham Pooh Bear... He can play Mario Maker 1 and he'll get a lot of viewers, right? That's th that's the way it works. It has nothing to do with, you know, Mario Maker 2. Barb as well. Barb gets a lot of viewers playing Mario Maker 2, but he also gets a lot of viewers doing whatever the hell he wants. So uh, the catalyst there isn't Mario Maker. The catalyst is the streamer, because the streamer is awesome. Looks like it comes with it so does. Yep. I already looked at the back of the box. I'll show you it when I kill Bowser. Endless was fun, but when I realized that people were just kind of cheat, I hate cheating on leaderboards. It ruins the officialness of it, so I give up. I'm, there's no accomplishment there. Well, you think I'm going to beat someone who's cheating or, like, people who do console sharing? It's impossible. Hard, hard levels, the hard level grind got stale. I mean, okay, hard levels are cool. It's more about the adventurous levels, more about the exciting and creative levels, not these... Mario Maker 1 was all about the crazy hard levels. I'd s you guys would probably still watch me play Mario Maker 2, of course. It's Mario Maker 2. I can make it fun, man, because I'm crazy. I'm all over the place. Right? Versus mode is really fun in Mario Maker. Very, very fun. God, I thought I died there.
1037. That's still pretty good. That's still a that's still a damn good time. I think that's like fourth place or something. Hey Kaylee, can you come and um, grab my second half of my sandwich and uh, put it in the fridge so it doesn't get So I have a snacky snack for later, I just put it on the side here. I gotta turn on my fan. It's getting a little hot. Whee! You know what? I haven't had a Pepsi in a while. I'm gonna have a Pepsi. When was the last time? Remember, I used to be all about the Pepsis, and then I, I took I, I've calmed down a lot on soda. I do not drink much soda at all. Do -do 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 -do. 